We're in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania area, and today's video is going to be a fiver. Meaning you're gonna get five topics mixed into one video. So if you like George Romero, Stephen King, filming locations, 80s horror, and murals, then this is the video for you. Now the 1982 movie Creep Show is made up of five short stories written by Stephen King and directed by the iconic George Romero. But today we're covering the short story The Crate from the movie Creep Show which starts at this house right here. Basically two filming location the party house which we're at right now and Amberson Hall which we're heading to next. Now this is the house in one of the opening scenes, the party house, where Adrian Barbeau, who plays Wilma, is being an obnoxious drunk, walking around irritating all the guests. She's slowly driving her husband Henry, played by Hal Holbrook, to his breaking point, where he actually has a little daydream fantasy where he pulls out a revolver and he shoots her in front of everyone. And everyone in the crowd starts applauding him. But then of course reality sinks back in and Wilma starts to belittle him again. Oh Henry, can't you do anything right? Huh? Huh? That's what I figured. Huh? But unfortunately the owners told me that infamous tree where Hal Holbrook shoots his wife Wilma out of frustration in a daydream is no longer there. I thought for sure it was this tree, but the owners assured me that the tree in the movie is gone. But luckily, the house and porch from the party still look exactly the same from the 1982 George Romero movie, Creep Show. made it to our final filming location from the story The Crate from the 1982 movie Creep Show. And this is the building right here that stood in for Amberson Hall. Let's go check it out. We're here at Carnegie Mellon University in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where fun fact, George Romero himself is an alumni from here. And this is the filming location of Amberson Hall. This is where the crate beast Fluffy, who's a man-eating arctic monster, is waiting in the basement for his next victim. Henry decides to trick his wife Wilma to meet him here so he can feed her to the beast under the stairs. Let's sneak inside and find that iconic hallway. Now if I'm not mistaken, this is the door right here. That Fluffy and the crate we're in. Hal Holbrook, Henry, comes out of that door right here. And this hallway looks exactly the same. From the movie Creep Show, Hal Holbrook opens that window right there to get some fresh air after feeding his wife to the beast, Fluffy. In Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the George Romero classic creep show. I didn't get permission to get in here so I better get going. We're back out front of Amberson Hall where everything still looks the same over 40 years later. This is where Henry pulls the station wagon up to the front door to put the monster crate with Fluffy and his three victims inside his station wagon so he can dump it into the quarry. It's the perfect crime to get rid of his wife once and for all. All right. Moving on, let's go find the Jeremy Raymer mural that inspired this entire video. Oh my god, look at this. Mural artist Jeremy Raymer does it yet again with Fluffy from the 1982 movie Creep Show, directed by George Romero, written by Stephen King. 
And of course the monster was created by the one and only Tom Savini. Now I've already done a video of Jeremy Raymer's mural of Tom Savini holding the Friday the 13th mask and I'll put a link to that in the description. But when I saw that he did Fluffy, I knew I had to come back and check that one out too, because it's incredible. Look at all the detail. Now, whenever I'm in Pittsburgh, I always got to stop and see the new Jeremy Raymer murals. One of these days, I'll actually get the guts to ask him to come join me in one of these videos. And right around the corner from the mural, somebody has a 12 foot skeleton jammed in between these two houses. Look how tight these houses are. You can stick your hand out the window and touch the house next to you. I gotta tell you, parking was a little tight down here. As another little clip here on the corner of 35th Street and Mulberry Street in downtown Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, I heard a rumor that there was more Jeremy Raymer murals down this alley. And I can see from here it's true. I love this early Simpsons mural. That's like the Tracy Allman show Simpsons right there. There's a quote from Andy Warhol. In the future everyone will be world famous for 15 minutes. Let's see what other Jeremy Raymer murals we got. This awesome skull. Slimer. Mmm, yes, Yoda. Got a Yoda. The detail is incredible. Charlie Brown and Snoopy. And an 8-bit Andy Warhol. Along with a Homer and a key to a heart, Raymer. And this is only about five minutes away from the fluffy mural, so it's totally worth the commute. Now, if I'm gonna put a Jeremy Raymer's Instagram all over this video, along with a link in the video description. So make sure you go and support his Instagram and support his art because it's all over Pittsburgh and it's incredible all right it's starting to rain I gotta get out of here and for the final peek into the mind of Jeremy Raymer here in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania is one of his iconic pieces here Kevin McAllister from Home Alone. Look at all the detail in that mural. It says, keep the change, you filthy animal. And it's perfect. So like I said, make sure you follow the links and go support this amazing artist. All right, that's gonna do it from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I just want to say, if you made it this far, thanks for watching. And until we meet again, I'll see you next time.